What's up guys, it's Crimson Cannabis here, and today I'm going to be telling you guys how to save your weed during this quarantine. Now if you're like me, and you didn't stack up before everything got shut down, this is the video for you. Uh, there's a way to stretch out your bud for even a few weeks, or even months, depending on how much you have. Like if you have a quarter, you can probably stretch it out for 2-3 months using this method, but if you have an 8, you can maybe get it out to 2 months. Now the obvious solution is to say don't smoke every day, but like what the hell are you going to do while you're sitting inside doing absolute jack shit. So the best way to smoke often and string out your bud for a while is to smoke using a grab. Now if you don't know what a grab is, it's another name for gravity bong, and I'm going to get in later how to do it step by step if you've never done it before. But uh, I'm just going to go into reasons why smoking a grab is the best way. So I know a lot of people like to smoke a joint or a blunt, but that definitely wastes a lot of weed. If you're not absolutely chiefing it all the time, it burns off a little bit, bud, whenever you're just like ashing it or just like breathing and breathing out, it's burning a little bit. So definitely stay away from joints or blunts while you're trying to conserve your weed. Now if you got like a fucking whole ounce, then I mean chief away all you want. But a bong or a pipe would be fine, but like in my personal experience and from other people, a grav is the best way to conserve it. It uses such a small amount of grass and it gets you the same amount of high that like smoking double or triple the amount in a bong would. So this next part is showing you how to make a grab if you've never done it, and if you have, but you just don't know how to use it, then I made this really shitty drawing of how to make a grab and how to do it and then how to not like look like a fucking idiot. So all you're going to need are three things you can find around the house. You're just going to need an empty 20 ounce bottle, a carton of milk, and like a screwdriver socket thingy to hold your butt in. So for step one, you're going to need to cut the bottom of the 20 ounce bottle off and throw away the bottom part. You're not, you're not going to need it. And for step two, uh, cut the top of the milk carton off, but make sure not to cut too much off because you want to fit like a lot of water in it. Uh, then next, you're going to cut a hole in the top of the cap of the 20 ounce bottle and glue the socket in it. This is where you're going to put the butt inside and smoke from but make sure you don't light the glue on fire while you're smoking or you'll be absolutely fucked in the wrong way then you're going to want to fill the carton with about three-fourths of water and then you want to put the bottle in it with the hash and the socket and you know it's not going to be that much may is going to be like a little bit of a pinch and then after that you're going to want to light the butt on fire and then slowly pull the bottle up from the front you should see the smoke filling the bottle and it should be coming from the top of course where the butt is and you want to stop it before the bottle is completely out of the water i'd probably say stop it about an inch before and then after that you want to unscrew the cap of the bottle and with your mouth on the bottle push the bottle back into the water and breathe in this is going to push the smoke into your lungs and then if this is done right, you'll be absolutely coughing like a motherfucker. I mean, there's no doubt about that. Uh, I don't know why they, grabs just absolutely fuck you up, but this method allows a ton of smoke to build up for just a little amount of bud that you put in there, and that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can find better videos of how to hit a grab, but that's my best way of explaining and drawing it. So it's a super simple way to smoke and get absolutely fried from a small amount of bud. But uh, thank you guys for watching, and let me know in the comments of how you're saving your weed during these months uh, this is how I'm doing it and uh, make sure to like and subscribe so you can see more videos like this and other shit too